What is the number one thing that if you stop doing it in your life today would have the single biggest impact? In this video, we're gonna be talking to a whole lot of successful people to find out what exactly did they stop doing and what impact did that have in their life? And what's one thing that you've stopped doing that has had the biggest single impact on your life? So I think the pandemic taught me this. Um, I'm that person who has loads and loads of friends, but are they friends or are they acquaintances? And what I found is the busier you get, you've got less time for, you, for your friends. But it doesn't mean that your friends aren't important. It's just you've got to look at who are the people who really add value to my life, where I add value to their life and they add value to my life. Because if you're going to take your time out, you need to make sure it's, it's adding value, whether you get the value because you've helped them or because they are adding value into your life. So I think it's... Um, I've, I've kind of recategorised a lot of my friends in terms of how I can prioritise my time. Family's always got to come first for me, but it's then finding those people who really do make you be the best version of yourself and surround yourself with those people to always make you a better person. What's one thing in your life that you have stopped doing and from stopping it has had the biggest impact in your life? Oh, mm. I know it's a deep question and I'm putting you on the spot. I've got, to be fair, I've stopped quite a few things. Um, I would say so socialising in terms of sort of going out and drinking um, just when you don't need to. <laughs> Literally, yeah. So that, that what, what impact do you think that's had on you? Uh, it's, it's, it's created me to focus more, to, to, to have have a better vision and understand sort of where I'm going because you know that that's that's what you kind of do to escape reality. And I actually want to understand where I am. So yeah, it's 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 definitely helped me so much, so much fitness as well. Obviously, stopping drinking, um, but more more my focus, definitely my focus. Perfect. What's one thing in your life that you have stopped doing that's had the biggest impact in your life? Drinking. Alcohol. Why, what, what impact did that have? And why did you stop? Well, as we all get older, you know, the alcohol leads to worse and worse hangovers. And, but it wasn't the hangover. It, was, it, was, it, was the, the, it wasn't depression. It, it was just that low and dark and empty and hollow feeling that existed. So when I stopped drinking, um, and this was because I had an operation on my spine in 2012. I wasn't allowed to drink for a few years. And then I didn't drink for solidly for seven years after that. Now, every now and then I'll have a glass of champagne or a glass of wine and whatnot, but no more than that. But drinking was a big thing. But I was always competitive. And because I was always competitive, there was always a drive to try and be better or, or beat somebody or try and, you know, get one over in some way on, on so, some imaginary competitor that I had. But, yeah, when I stopped drinking, my head just cleared up completely and it just and they enabled me to be laser focused. So... Um What's one thing in your life that you have stopped doing that's had the biggest impact on your life? Procrastinating. Procrastinating? Yeah. What, what, does the, what do you mean? Like not following up with what I'm thinking. I think of a great idea or I think of, a, or I think of something I know I should do and then I don't follow through. Mainly because self-doubt used to be, but now since breaking that barrier and you just take action. What's one thing in your life that you have stopped doing that's had the biggest single impact on your life? Uh, caring what other people think. Caring what people think. Yeah. What, what, why did you stop doing that and what impact did that have? Uh, so the first reason is probably like my parents always told me like there's not money to be made in fitness. Like an average fitness instructor makes maybe like 40, 50K a year. She was like, you're never going to be successful if you're going to do that. I'm like, if you're good in one thing, you always make more money. So I remember making probably like six figures in like the first six months and I was like, see it works. Like it doesn't matter, like even my mother didn't believe me or what other people said. And so that's probably one and other one is probably environment. It's like a lot of people that like, if you just take your WhatsApp right now and you look at your last 10 conversations that you had, how many people actually are in there that inspire you? Because if that's not at least four or five people, I would say you probably need to switch your environment a lot to change where you are right now, to go where you want to go. So that's probably the two most important things. I'm inspired. What's one thing in your life that you have stopped doing that's had the biggest impact on your life? Uh, easy, caring about what other people think. I think that that's, I just don't care about that anymore. There's repercussion and I'll deal with that when I get to that point, but for everything else, it's how can I just be me and how can I be authentic me? And to be honest with you, thanks Pete for, for a lot of the wisdom you've given because that's helped me on my journey for sure. Thank you, and what, what impact has that had on you in stopping to care what people think about you? I think it's made me more confident. It's made me 
more relatable with other people because I can listen to their story and then think, at what point have I had that similar experience where I can yeah, connect with them on a, on a human level again. What's one thing in your life that you've stopped doing that has had the biggest impact in your life? Wow, one thing that I've stopped doing. Um, one thing that I've stopped doing. I'd say reading is probably a big one for me. Over the years, I've spent a lot of time you know, reading lots of books over and over and over again. Um, sometimes these habits, we can lose them and fall back from them. So I know that is definitely something that impacts me and allows me to, yeah, like I've said, grow and keep developing. So I know that has a big impact and I need to... So you stopped out. reading? Not completely, but I was a lot more aggressive in my routine so you, I, reading every single day. So I know that's something that moves the needle for me and allows me to be better. So I know I need to bring that up again. What's one thing that you have stopped doing in your life that do you think has had the biggest single impact on your success? Low value tasks. <laughs> so repeatable low value tasks, you know, I get rid of them in the early days. If you're doing the same tasks on repeat, then that will limit the growth of your business. So if you're answering the emails every day, if you're packing the packages to send out every day, that's not giving you that brain space and time capacity to go and do income generating tasks. And um, I find most business owners are doing too much of that stuff rather than getting customers, income generating, getting deals over the line, etc., etc. All of the high value, super successful, high achievers that I meet spend all of their time on high value tasks. What's one thing that you've stopped doing in your life that's had the biggest single impact on your life? I say no to many, many more things these days. I used to say yes and try and take a load of opportunities up and now I get very eloquent at saying no uh, in, a, in a nice way to a lot of things that might cause me distraction. So it's interesting because we were just talking to James who's opposite you and he said something very similar to that. How important is it for you to be around entrepreneurs like James? Yeah, really important because it, it keeps you motivated and focused and inspired by what other people are doing. And that can be really helpful, especially if times are tough. You know, mm. when you kind of like you never day to day activity is never that simple and you don't have all the answers. That's the thing as well. You can you go through next next stage of growth. And as soon as you're at that stage, you're like, oh, crap, I didn't realize there's this challenge that I didn't anticipate. Um, and that's why I say kind of keep things simple, keep the fundamentals right, because then it makes it easier to to get what you're doing to work more efficiently as you grow. But let's say, for example, you're doing two or three things, five things, 10 things in a company. Then you grow, and now you've all of a sudden got more staff mm -hmm. and more operations. You're like, holy crap, you're taking on more than you can deal with to start with. And now you're just making that problem be even bigger is exponential so when you get in a room with other people that are going through similar things who have been there done it and have insights that you wouldn't have otherwise you learn so much quicker um, so it's going to the horse's mouth so to speak, or is that the right expression going to the going to the people with the um the experience the knowledge and the know-how that you can just ask a quick question and be like Ah, that's an answer from experience and I can take that and use that without having to go through that experience myself. What's one thing in your life that you have stopped doing that's had the biggest single impact in your life? <laughs> well, I stopped doing it and then I started again and then I stop it again and it's actually not drinking alcohol. And what impact has that had on your life? I sleep better. I always wake up with a clear head. I get more done, I'm more productive, and I figure that if I lost one day a week from having a hangover and not really feeling like doing anything and just feeling lethargic, you know, one day a week, 52 days a year, I've got so much to do, I can't afford to lose 52 days a year. What's one thing in your life that you have stopped doing that has had the biggest impact on your success? Doubt, I've stopped doubting myself. So I think that the minute that you doubt that you can do it and the minute you think you let the imposter syndrome, the procrastination, the worry of not achieving it take over, um, that ruins everything. The, when, when you realize that you can achieve it and you truly wholeheartedly believe it, everything starts to change. You start moving from a different energy, the right people come into your life, you start attracting the right opportunities and then things really get moving. And what have you replaced doubt with? Belief. Um, that's it really, belief. You have to believe that you can and often that comes from actually taking action. So when you start taking the small steps and you start attracting the right people into your life and it helps you believe. What's one thing that you've stopped doing in your life do you think that's had the single biggest impact in who you are and what you do? Stops doing in my life. Hang around with less negative people. <laughs> I'm not, 
I've never been one to cut out every single person in my life that, that, is, that is negative, but I make a conscious effort to surround myself with the right people that are speaking the right things. Ashley, in your, in your life, what's one thing that you have stopped doing that's had the biggest single impact on who you are? Do you want the truth? Yes. Cutting out anything negative. People think negative is just your circle. And I'm going to say negative goes down to your habits, your actions. Now, I used to be a keen drinker. Love drinking. But if you actually look at the negative effects that it has on your life, like it's as bad as having poison around you, negative people around you, if you don't know how to take control of yourself. So one thing that I've removed is bad habits that deflate my energy. Because I believe that having high energy like, will just reflect into your business straight away. And I think people think that they can have a perfect business and a crappy life. Please understand, they're so aligned that like, it, it, your personal life carries to your business, your business carries to your personal. Like, don't think you can get away with it and uh, still kind of achieve success. Like, when you actually study these people that are successful out there, they are consciously looking into how to make their gut healthy their diet healthy, their brain healthy, because that's the, that's, that's the key thing. It's, we're, we're nothing without our health, and I think so many people overlook that, and it's going to be one of the biggest killers. And I'm talking that from experience. It, it took a lot away from me, um, and cutting that out literally propelled me, my, my personal, my family, my relationships, my business, to a whole new level. What's one thing in your life that you've stopped doing that's had the biggest single impact in your life? Well, um I've told you this, Pete, and part of this is thanks to you as well, is uh, to stop snoozing in the morning. You know, people waste so much time hitting that snooze button in the morning, but, you know, just getting up 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes earlier a day, it's like an extra three and a half hours in the week. How much more productive can you be? How much more can you get done? How much more can you work towards your goals, your business, your health in just 15 minutes a day? So, yeah, stop snoozing. What's one thing that you've stopped doing in your life that has the biggest has has had the biggest impact on who you are today. <laughs> That's a tough one off the top. One yeah. thing that I've stopped doing in my life, reaching out to people who don't fulfill my frequency and energy as a human being. So previously, you know, when you're transitioning into uh, self development and growing as an individual, you have all of these people from other circles that you need to leave behind, and if they're toxic to your life and they're not contributing in a positive way to your behaviors and what you do for me yeah I think you have to get rid of them and it's a hard transition especially when some of them are family some of them are really close friends that you've evolved away from but that's something I've stopped going back to the places where there's nothing to be accomplished anymore what is one thing that you have stopped doing that has had the biggest single impact on your life it's a great question. It is a great question. All these questions, are these, they, they don't know the questions I'm going to ask them. No. So I'm putting everybody on the spot. And I'm, I'm taking a while to think it over as well. So the one thing I've stopped doing, um, it's a great, great question. Great, great question. I would probably say I've stopped overthinking massively. Like, I've, uh, like if it's, just get it out there. Whatever it is, get it out there because the more time you spend thinking about it, perfecting it, you know, the more time is going by. And the more time that goes by, you're losing those valuable, precious minutes that you're never going to get back. So overthinking is a big thing. I just like, if I have an idea, I action it usually within 24 to 48 hours. Whereas before, it would take me a week or two to launch it, get the graphics right, get the color right, and all this other stuff. You know how entrepreneurs are. They can be very... Anal. Exactly. What is um, one thing in your life that you have stopped doing that's had the biggest single impact on your life? I think looking at other people and wishing that I was where they are, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Right now, in here and now, you are exactly where you're supposed to be. If that, has made you, if that statement has made you feel amazing, brilliant, you're on the right path, keep going. If that statement has gone, oh, really? I don't agree with that. Or if you've had a, a negative reaction to that, do something about it. Now, obviously, there's instances where situations like with Hannah, for example, like that is not fair. But fucking life is not fair. It's just yeah. that simple. But by and large, in 99% of cases, you are exactly where you are supposed to be right now, whether you like it or not. Can you tell me what's one thing in your life that you've stopped doing and from stop 
from having stopped doing it, has had the biggest impact in your life? Um, I've stopped not taking care of myself. So I've started being more healthy, you know, in terms of my understanding that, you know, you are, it's like the thing, if you don't feed yourself, you can't feed others. And I was quite lazy in terms of like, you know, nutrition, exercise, only when I found time. And I thought, actually, how can I preach to others about being consistent in all areas of life if I'm not consistent in the one area that makes me feel good? So that was the one area. So I stopped taking, um, uh, I stopped being uh, frivolous around food and nutrition and, and exercise. I said, right, no, instead of me trying to find time for it, who do I need to become to make sure that's part of my life? So fascinating to hear from all of those people as they've told us the things that they have stopped doing and the impact that has had on their lives. Look, where are you going in your life? Because what I want to challenge you to stop doing is to stop starting things and then stop. Who would you be if you could get out of that habit? I challenge you right now to become a better human being for you to achieve more of your goals and dreams and your ambitions. Watch the video that we made called Five Simple Ways to Create a Better Life. And let's go from where we are to where we want to be. Stop this video and start watching the other video right now. Let's go.